so things are looking up, guys. <laughs> nice and crispy. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had this like moment of realization. Is that happening? No, it's happened to me like four times. We just got to Montreal. Um, it was minus five degrees as we were walking here. Felt like minus nine. Yep. Um, as you can see, we're having a lovely, <clears throat> very large um, dinner. It's all, it's all well and good. It's all perfectly normal. Except, what's the time? Uh, almost eleven p.m. <laughs> Our flight landed at seven, Oops. and it's just taken us this long to get into the city, get groceries, get to our place, cook yes. dinner. Yes, and on any normal day, we would have bought dinner, obviously. But by our bodies, it's what it's time? It's only almost 8 p.m. Now. Yeah, so, so we weren't going to kick jet lag tonight. So we were just like, we'll just run with it. We're having dinner at a normal time. It's fine. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> we're filming in a mirror so you can see our full outfits. I've got my coat and my beanie in my hands and Catherine's taking her beanie. Um, but you know what's a real struggle? Getting dressed for when it's this cold, but the heating in this building is at like 25 degrees. Yeah, I'm so And we so can't change it. sweating. It's such a struggle. But you know what? It's going to be probably more of a struggle when we get outside and it's minus 10 today. Feels like minus 10. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, properly. We got in yesterday, as you saw, and had a very confusing night honestly we've discussed this and i think that a, like a small time difference is honestly worse than a big one because we didn't go to sleep till i went to sleep at about 12 45 what about yeah, you yeah 1 30 ish yeah and um then we woke up with an alarm at 9 30 and it felt like 6 30 so it's a struggle we yeah. managed to get out of the house before 11 so i'm proud of that yeah um and so we are now in the city we are we are thankfully in this time zone though for the next couple of months yeah we have so two months in this time zone once we adjust we'll be good. <laughs> and then we hop back to the vancouver time zone <laughs> but i think it's better it's better the other yeah, way it's better the other way it's it's worse this way so we're doing we've done this we're doing it and then we don't have to do it again um but yeah we're just going to walk around the old town see what's here i don't know there's heaps to do in the city so yeah that'll be cool today's plan is our normal first day plan is just just kind of wander, wander the city. Time. Yeah, we know there's lots of like Christmassy things going on. Um, but there's I a Christmas market starting tomorrow. Yes, so. I have not had time to like research anything, so that'll be tonight's plan. But as for today, I'm just gonna wander around, see what there is to offer. Also, while Catherine has a drink, I just wanted to talk about the absolutely unhinged behaviour we saw on the plane yesterday. It was a five-hour flight. The man next to me sits down, just sits there. <laughs> five hours didn't use the screen didn't use the entertainment didn't look at his phone there was didn't do anything free and like there was tvs what was he doing he just sat there for five hours and i was like listening to a podcast and then like i had this like coloring in app on the ipad that just like keeps my brain occupied and he was just staring at me doing that and i was like sir that's so annoying do your own thing i didn't understand he also he had a smartphone Psychopathic a, behavior. I know. I like. Maybe is this a is this an us thing? No, I, I that's think five weird. hours. Five that's hours. Weird. If it was like a half hour flight, yeah. sure, I'd just sit there. Five hours. Very odd. Crazy. <laughs> Because it feels like we're back in Europe. It does, but then you walk past a place that sells like poutine and you're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Still Canada. It's really lovely. Like it's all like the streets of cobblestone, which makes the cars really loud. So one sec. Yes, it's very nice. And um, it's all being decorated for Christmas. Yeah, so it's really cool. so pretty. I mean, you can see some things behind us. Yeah. We're just going to like go into some shops, take our time. <laughs> We have now come to downtown Montreal. Which is a lot less French. It is a lot less French, it's just more like a city. Yep. Look at all these pretty Christmas lights. And um, 
I think we're getting close to calling it a day because we are cold and tired. Yeah. We both have um, the new shoes that we bought in Vancouver. Yeah. Um, but it's the first day we've got we properly worn them. Look at that Last building. That so colourful. There's also a really nice tree just in here. How are you feeling? Cold. <laughs> but I do really like Montreal. It's very quiet, interestingly. Like even car, like traffic wise. It is really quiet. I don't know if everyone's like at work because it's the middle of the day well, or if it's just, if it's just city. yeah or if everyone's like if there's like lots of underground areas where everyone is to stay out of the cold or something I don't know but yeah it's weirdly quiet. But it is really nice. It's very nice and um, yeah we're going to just wander around a bit more go get some groceries and then head back. But we will see you tomorrow for more exploring we'll probably be out longer then because we'll be less tired <laughs> hopefully <laughs> okay we lied we Jokes. saw that <laughs> um mcgill university was really close to us and we like walking through uni campuses this one's so nice it is lovely so now we're just going to walk through the uni campus a bit another squirrel and and their squirrels <laughs> so things are looking up guys <laughs> another miracle as well as all the squirrels we like walked past this woman who had a golden retriever and then we looked at the dog of course and she was like oh he's taking pats and we were like okay great and then she said that he's a therapy dog and he just finished up therapy in the union now they're leaving he was so cute and he also so he was sweet. munching on a on a coffee cup holder <laughs> which she promptly swallowed yeah. And then let, let him pop us. So that's classic golden retriever moves. Yeah. I think that's the most golden retriever thing of all time. <laughs> Just eating something inedible. It was so cute. Happily. Though. What a good oh. dog. And there's also squirrels everywhere. Everywhere. And they're all um, preparing for winter. And they very are so fat. fat. <laughs> all of them. It's very cute. Love it. We both need to wash it, but we both had the thought this morning, well, last night when we were like, well, wash our hair in the morning. Can't wash your hair no. when you're about to go out into negative temperatures. So, so it's an afternoon plan, <laughs> yeah. but right now it's looking gross. Um, we are at the Jean, Mich Jean, Jean Talon um, market, which I think is a farmer's market, um, but actually does have like a lot of food you can eat now. Yes. Like we've seen a creperie, lots of pastel donatas. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there's a Turkish place in front of us, so it's looking nice. Just gonna wander around, and then this is in Little Italy, um, and then Little Italy is next to Myland, which is apparently, according to a blog post I read, the fifth nicest neighborhood in the world, according to someone. I wonder what the first four are. Yeah, I know. We should look that up. We'll let you know what the first four are. Um, so we're gonna walk through there. Yeah. And that's the plan. It is. We just walked from the station here um, and I didn't film anything, but we'll film when we go out for our walk. It's really giving New York. It is giving New York. Um, which is very exciting because we are <laughs> heading to New York soon -ish. soon -ish. Um And it's making us very excited. But this market is really nice, so we're going to go check it out. on this trip where it actually made sense to get like a multi-day transport ticket. ticket. Yeah. Um, we're only here for four days and we got a week-long ticket and that is better value than buying because, tickets. Because to be fair it ends on a Sunday and we leave on a Sunday so yes. it, it kind of worked out well whereas if you get here on, on a, a Saturday, Friday yeah, or something don't it buy be. it. Yeah but it is strange it always ends on a Sunday yeah, regardless really of when you buy it. 
um, but also the bus from the airport costs $11 anyway. Definitely worth looking into it. As Chrissy said, it's $11 from the airport in. Yeah. And that's already a third of the weekly ticket. Also, a 24 hour ticket goes till midnight, not 24 hours from when you buy it. So if like you and we get in at like 9, 10 p.m., don't buy a 24 hour ticket, it's not gonna get you very far. No. It's a very strange system. It is. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like one of our strengths this trip has been navigating like hundreds of different public transport systems. Yes. Because it is tricky. It is. And we are actually, I think we said this in our Vancouver video, but we've started a blog. If you didn't know, it's linked below. You yeah. can check it out. Um, but we have started writing like guides to public transport yep. in the cities that we've been to because that is one of our best budget tips. Yeah. I think we've public bought everywhere. maybe like three or four Ubers or taxis in the trip. If that. Uh, and we've just used public transport every other time. Yeah. It's way cheaper. But navigating it can be tricky, especially when you don't speak the language. Yeah. So we got you there. Check it out. Okay, we're in a shop now, but I'm actually not kidding. I would say at least two or three times in Canada, the wind blows and I can smell maple. <laughs> Is that happening? to you? No. It's happened to me like four times. I don't know if it's just like in the air or if it's because there's so many maple products around, but mm. I swear to God, it's like the wind blows and I'm just hit with maple syrup. So usually the wind blows and I'm hit with the smell of weed because mm. there'll be someone smoking nearby. Yeah, all that. I do like the maple syrup wind better. restaurant is affordable. something we like no restaurant is affordable there's no like takeaway sort of options yeah there. and we were just like we don't know what to eat so we, it's like quarter past two we went to a, ba a bagel place that Catherine's friend recommended um but the bagels were like a dollar 85 each and they had a mi card minimum of 20 um and we don't have cash so that um, wasn't gonna work yeah so we ended up finding a bakery. I got a croque monsieur, which I'm very happy with. I got a galette. I don't really know what that is. It tastes like a pizza. It looks like a pizza. And then we also got a butter croissant because we're essentially back in France. Back in France. So we really have, we have to try one. Um, so we're just going to eat these. We're going to spend $2 we found on the floor to try the bagels and keep exploring. <laughs> Which bagel did you choose? All right, we went for chocolate chip bagel. Um, it didn't have tax, which is nice. We're, we we don't still know. don't understand no. what does and doesn't have tax. No, I so think we our... were fully preparing for tax. I think our, our, our stuff at the bakery had tax on it, but the bagel didn't. I don't know. So we chose one that was well under two dollars, just in case we it needed tax, to yeah. add tax. But no, I don't know. <laughs> Um, all right, let's try. Oh. Oh, very oh. soft. Look at all that chocolate. Apparently Montreal is very well known for bagels. Yeah, it's very good. You should try some. It tastes kind of jaffery. It's like a mm. hint of orange. A very, yeah, it does. Right? Mm. Pretty good. What we also did, we have seen quite a few Orthodox Jewish people walking mm. around. And we walked past the synagogue earlier. So that does explain why the bagels are good here. We did not expect for a dog to come and find us in this shop. So friendly. Just continuing to walk around Mile End, and we were just discussing. We're not sure it would go in our top five, you know, neighborhoods. Yeah, but it is very nice. It's cool, and it has a lot of like independent clothing stores and like food shops, food and stuff. shops. Um, yeah, I mean, 
there's a couple of bagel shops up here like independent restaurants and stuff so in that respect it's very cool yeah it has been cool just to wander around for the day uh, but it's getting quite cold now again and we both need to wash our hair <laughs> It's the last day of the month, so Chrissy has to do some money-related things. Yeah. So we think we're going to call it a day. And we will see you tomorrow on another beaver hunt. <laughs> Lake. We are absolutely not seeing beavers today. <laughs> Lake's frozen. Forgot to think about the frozen lake, like the it's fact that it would probably be frozen. It's not fully frozen and it's about six or seven degrees today, so it is like thawing. We can see how like yeah, it's wet on but top. The beavers are probably I think they might hibernate or Yeah. That's alright, it's a nice <laughs> park. It is. There's it's a like little a, yeah. A really cool ice skating lake. It's not open. I don't know when it's opening, but Sorry, we had to break for a little tractor guy that was too loud. Yes, but yes, this is this is very cool. It's very cool to see anyway. Um, so I think the park we're in is Mount Royal, um, which I learned from Chrissy. <laughs> Montreal. Montreal. That's Montreal. what it's named after. Yeah. So we're like accidentally staying within walking distance to this park, which is cool. Yeah. Um, it's actually half a graveyard. And yeah, the other half is a park. There's like a road that goes through, and yep. on one side is a cemetery, and on this side is yep. so a park. We are gonna walk through this park today. We're gonna walk up to the royal staircase, I think it's called, or oh, horses, police horses. Oh, yeah. Um, gonna walk up to the staircase and then walk back down into the city because I feel like we didn't properly explore. There's like, um, an amount, I can't remember how much, but a lot of underground shops. And Isn't we like, briefly. It's like 30 kilometers 30, across, yeah. like, like across Montreal. Yeah. Uh, amongst different we shops. We briefly explored it the other day, but we were very tired. So we're going to go back today. Um, but yeah, just look around the park first. Yeah. up to the viewpoint which I believe is at the top of the stairs. The stairs are nearby, right? Uh, yeah, because the go stairs down to go the down uni. similar to the uni. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's actually a really cool view. It is really like cool. Over all of Montreal. I also don't know if we've discussed how warm it is today. Like we, I, we only have thermal leggings on. I know, we've I got our coats. on under this. I know, same. We've got our coats, but we took them off. Crazy. I'm so unused to cold temperatures that I, I don't know what is like appropriate level of clothing. If it's like six degrees, uh, is that thermals? I don't know. Yeah, now we know that six degrees is t-shirt and jumper, which I feel like we've really acclimatized. <laughs> yeah, yes. If it was six degrees in Sydney, I would refuse to leave my house. Yeah. <laughs> it's very foggy. It or is. misty, cloudy, I don't Hazy. know. I don't know. But, but it's quite cool. It is. Um, also, you may remember from our Alba Vera video, which was quite a while ago now. It was. That um, Catherine needed new sunnies. Yes, I did. And those with a keen eye may realise that Catherine has gone back to her old sunnies. Yeah. What happened? They disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> they disappeared because we left them in Heathrow Airport. We're not even, well, I'm not really sure. I put them in the tray to go and then security. I didn't put them back on after. Except I am not one of those people that just takes my stuff out and walks away. Like, I usually do a quick scan. I reckon they were caught on something and when you took it out they just like fell somewhere. Yeah, or something like that and I just forgot because they're so like they're just not a part of my bag packing routine um, and I just I just forgot walked away remembered them like on the plane they are gone forever at least they were only eight euros yeah but it R. is R. devastating because these these are so old old and like it's not clear I don't have clear vision anymore <laughs> devastating yeah so now nah, well oh well these ones were just like at least you have rid of ones. me yeah <laughs> anyway we're gonna go find the staircase and walk down go down there which we um did intentionally this way because we didn't want to walk up the stairs never doing that 
We found the stairs. They were right by that viewpoint. There's a lot of them. There is a lot of them, so I'm glad we're not walking up them. Up them. <laughs> that would be terrible. Um, but also, the colours. Oh, all the leaves on the ground. Yeah, look at them. Incredible. Very nice park. It is. Definitely come up here for like a couple of hours. Yeah. There's lots of squirrels, which you know we love. A lot of people walking dogs. Apparently we saw some signs being like, oh, if you're skiing, ski this way. Yeah. So when it snows, it must get. Must look really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's very cool. We also looked it up because it's, Montreal is quite flat. Like you would have seen in the like videos of the views. It's quite flat. And then the mountain is just like in the middle of the island. And we were like, it's probably a volcano. It's not, but it basically is. It's what, like, it was cooled magma that never reached the surface. Yeah. And then everything eroded around it. So it's essentially it sounds a volcano. Sounds pretty volcano yeah. Um, but it is really cool because it means you get a really good view because everything else is flat. Yeah. And you're just up cool. on one mountain. And now my hand is cold, so I'm going to put the camera on. <laughs> We've made it back to the shopping center we were in a couple of days ago, which I don't actually think we filmed anything here. No, I don't think so. We I just think it's came into Walmart. Eaton Central? Eaton Central? Eaton like something. Um, and it is huge. Yeah, it's like at least three or four, four levels. levels. It has like a food court and a timeout market. Yeah. It and has, it's just way bigger than we thought it was yeah. when we came in the other day. We just like came in to warm up a bit and go to the bathroom and then we left. Yeah, but it's huge. I think it does go under quite a bit of the city. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're just going to walk around, look at some more shops, but it's so big. Yeah, and it, it is nice because even though it's warmer today, it's still, you know, chilly. Yeah, it's so, so it's nice to be inside. It's really cool. Okay, we finished up in the shopping center. We spent a while wandering around. It was nice. I like it. Was. it. Um, and now we're just going to head back. I don't know if we said this at the start of our time here, but we booked four days here and yeah. you don't really need that. We just had like extra time. Our yeah. bus is coming, so we're gonna go in a sec. Is that our bus? Yes. Yeah. Um, we have extra time, so that's why we're doing like half days. Yeah, because we're spending chill. Christmas with Chrissy's brother. And so like until Christmas, we just have a certain amount of time we've got to fill, so. Yeah, and we, we just added that long here. an extra day or two to each of the places we're, we're going to. Day, yeah. Which we love, so. We do. We are really loving Montreal so far. Well, I am. I don't know about you. Yeah, I like it. Um, it's the city area is just like a city, but all the extra, like the university is lovely. Mm. Like Montreal Park. Yeah, and tomorrow we're doing something very cool. We are. So that'll be fun. Good morning from a snowy slash wet Montreal. Yeah, we filmed a clip from our place this morning where it was snowing yeah and now we've come away and it's not snowing yeah. anymore. <laughs> I think it's snowing I think it's like wet ice yeah um but yes as we said yesterday we're staying up slightly up on the mountain yeah so the snow sticks a bit more yeah. at our place which was very pretty to wake up to it was it was cool um but yeah now it's just wet but that's okay it's meant to keep snowing all day so hopefully we get some pretty sticking snow and then tomorrow we're going somewhere much colder and it's definitely going to be snowing there yes so i least... think it's already like stuck there <laughs> yeah so at least we're going into the snow tomorrow yes. i'm so excited yes i am excited too now that i have warmer shoes yes, that are actually waterproof snow boots. but yes we are in a different area of montreal today that we haven't been in before yes um, we are walking down well we're going to be soon walking down rue wellington which um is voted one of the best streets in the world i think um so we'll see what that's about yeah and then there is a christmas village that opened up a couple days ago so we're gonna be going there we are so excited to be going to a christmas village in yeah. canada while it's snowing yes. like <laughs> what a vibe that's the goal it's our last day here so we're gonna yeah check out some new areas and Go to a Christmas market and it's going to be so fun and so wholesome. It's going to be so good. 
a Christmassy. Okay, we just had some lunch on Rue Wellington. Yes, <coughs> we did. Has been it. quite a nice street. Yeah, it is. It is really nice. There's a lot of lovely shops and stuff. Lots of nice shops. Lots of cafes. Lots of Christmas decorations. Yeah, but I did just want to talk about our lunch briefly because I had this like moment of realization. Um, it was really good. We didn't film it, but we went to a little, a little Japanese dumpling. place. A I think just, just Asian, Asian, just generally Asian. Food. Yeah, but as we it has like it had really good reviews on google and then as we were like looking at the menu outside these people came out of it and said it was like they were like really, it's so really good. good so we were like okay great we'll go and like i had this moment of realization when i was eating and i was like really good asian in canada is like quite different here australia because <laughs> yeah. it was it good, was good but in if i was in australia i wouldn't like point that out as like a really good place I would just be like no it's good yeah but I wouldn't be like it's it's outstanding I know and it just like hit me and I was like oh my gosh like it's so different because I'm so used to having some incredible Asian places in Australia like, yeah you can get some incredible dumplings yeah it's the same the other way we have a Mexican restaurant in Sydney that we love yeah and I guarantee you anyone from North America not even Mexico just North America would go and be like it's fine it's fine yeah um, yeah it was pretty good though. It was funny. Yeah, it was it was it was good, but it was just funny and I was just like, oh, we have very different ideas of what really good Asian food is yes. to a lot of Canadians. Yes. Um, but now we are heading back to a train station. So yep. we can catch a train to the Christmas village. Yes. Um, which is very exciting. I'm really I think I've already given into the idea that we're getting some kind of Christmas treat. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> I have I not know. been I'm not been informed of this until I don't just know, now. Like some kind of like cinnamon thing or like a like a like a chocolat show. I don't know how to say it in French. Short. Much better. I wouldn't even know what it is in French. <laughs> um but yes, so we will see, see you at the Christmas market. All right, we're at the very start of the Christmas village. And as you can see, we're in the Christmas tree area. It smells, so it smells so good. And to me, it smells like summer. Because this is what our house always smells like yeah. in December. Yeah, it does kind of smell like the, the, the temperature is hot. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> like I'm yeah, smelling yeah. it and I'm like, oh, it's 40 degrees. Yeah, and that's the thing. Yeah. Also, it makes me want to sing Last Christmas. Absolutely. <laughs> We found the actual Christmas market. We, we detoured. We detoured into the like permanent farmers market, and we were like, "This isn't very Christmassy." <laughs> and then we found this. Yes. Um, it's very European style. Yeah, it's very similar Christmas to like market. the one in Edinburgh with all the little huts and the. It's very cute. It is. We found something that we've been looking for since we got to Canada. Yes. If you saw our Whistler video, we were looking for beaver tails. We, were. we found one. This is for you, Adam. <laughs> We just went with a classic one, which is yeah, cinnamon sugar, cinnamon sugar. Um, which sounds great, but also we wanted to try Not just like a normal original. one yeah. first. If we find them again, we might venture out to a different flavor. A flavored one, yeah. But it smells so good. It's just like, I imagine it's like a churro. Actually, yeah, it looks so flaky, but a churro. Pastry. We'll see. It's less flaky than a churro, but it's delicious. I like it more than churro because it's crispy. Mmm. Good. It's a really good texture. Yeah. Nice and crispy. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Other than the beef tail, we weren't able to film that much of the Christmas market because a lot of it was like art and stuff. Um, but it was lovely. There were a lot of cute stalls and really nice products. It was. I'm so excited to see the Quebec Christmas market. I have yeah. read that that's like really good. Really good. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, this one was quite little, but it was so small. It was yeah. really nice. It was. Um, but that's all of our things for today. So I think we're going to head back, warm up, because it is 
it's quite cold yeah, today. Yeah, the temperature's <laughs> dropping. See if any more snow has stuck at our place. Yeah. As we said earlier, we are heading off tomorrow to somewhere new. Um, so we're gonna end this one here with a chainsaw, apparently. <laughs> We're standing in the Christmas tree section. They're getting all yeah, pruned. That is on us. Um, but we hope you have enjoyed this video. It's been cold. It's been our, I feel like it's been our first real cold. Like yeah. Vancouver. Well, since, I guess, Switzerland. Yeah. Um, of this winter. Vancouver wasn't super cold, but this is this is it. And it's. It, I love it. I've missed the snow. I've missed the cold. It's been lovely. Yeah. And, yeah. We will see you in Quebec. We will. So thank you for watching. Give us a like, comment and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. And yeah, we will see you when we're even colder. <laughs> see you then. Bye. Bye.